Here she is, Tulumnia Red Sun. <laughs> Supposedly, Irene Hill, when you were watching my Tulumnia makeover video, you left a comment that you were looking forward to seeing the spike bloom out. We had a teeny tiny sneak peek of a bloom in that video. Well, here is your ninja clip and here is Tulumnia Red Sun. A first time bloomer for me. I thought I was getting an orchid that I had bloomed before, but now I know that I lost that orchid. I have never seen these blooms in my collection before, but red sun she is. And because of that, I can now do her proper tag. I believe she's a red sun, I don't know. But here's what I want to show you, just on a side note. You see the speckling here on this bloom? Yeah, I was a little bit worried that this orchid might not be of the healthy kind, which was almost confirmed because the next bloom that opened had a funky lip and I thought, hmm, this is not going very well. But all her subsequent blooms have now opened minus one bud and they are clean. So we have two blooms that really show the symptoms of the first time blooming woes and the rest of them are showing the potential of what this orchid is going to look like in a couple of years when she's a little bit more established. I hope you like her, Irene Hill. Personally, I'm into the red tulumnias or anything blotchy red. I love that so much. I'm delighted that this orchid is in my collection. No regrets. And thankfully, it's not another pink beige, <laughs> which I've had quite a few. <laughs> Thank you, Irene Hill, for your question.